EA just dropped the first sneak peek at the new college football game, and I am literally stunned. This came out of absolutely nowhere. I thought we were just going to get a little bit of an update from schools, maybe, on who's participating in the game. But then they've gone on and dropped this full-on trailer, so I'm going to get my initial reaction as soon as possible to you all. And there were leaks that they were filming this in the Rose Bowl, so I guess those were actually true. All right, I'm not going to wait any longer. Here we go. Okay. I don't think this is going to be a cover athlete. And quite frankly, if it is, I probably just won't recognize him. Got something special for y'all. Little update for our fans from the big house to the mm -hmm. bayou. From Carolina to California. Okay. All ACC pretty much. Yeah. It's about college football. We know you love it. Us too. I love this. I love this. I love that we're getting a trailer. I want to see some gameplay. That probably won't come, but this is just like getting us hyped up. The rivalries. Come back. Okay. They're starting to show some clips. Maybe they are going to definitely sneak gameplay in here. There's no way that they don't sneak in a little bit of gameplay. This is already getting me pumped up. And also, it does confirm that the game is coming out this summer like everyone was expecting. I know there was a lot of speculation that maybe the game might not come out. I've been trying to tell you all it is coming out this summer, and yes, it is. So at least there's that, but let's just continue. The traditions and superstitions built by generations. There's nothing like it. Turns out, we've been building too. Yeah, been building. Got it. We have got it. There is the first little glimpse of gameplay. They're probably going to go more in depth as this trailer goes on. But from what I'm seeing here, this is just going to be a clip of what maybe the runouts look like in the intro, and that's sick. I'm going to have to pick this thing apart. It's only a minute and a half long. Okay. They've also given a little bit of a look at what Oklahoma has. I think that's just a little bit of an intro as well. And then they haven't put my Kentucky Wildcats in here, but they did get us a glimpse of Nayland Stadium and the Florida Gator head like that. That was actually in the NCAA football 14 game. So some of the stuff we've seen before, but it's going to have even better graphics. So let's address the big... Oh, they were about to say something important, but then I saw this one as well. This sign was also in NCAA Football 14. And just seeing these renders is so sick, but we are a few months away from release in the summer, so I'm starting to wonder if there's any bit more than this. Whatever, I'm just going to shut up and let the rest of it play, see what else they have so to say. So let's address the big owl in the room. Yeah, we've seen the posts, the predictions, the doubts. We did it. <laughs> Okay, they, that's actually great marketing from them. They know that there's been a lot of doubt of if the game's actually going to come out or not. I mean, the only other previews we're going to get here, it says not final represents a game in development, is Alabama's mascot. And then it looks like we also get the Spartan. But I'm kind of curious what comments they put on the bottom yeah. of the corner here. We've seen the posts. Game ain't coming out this year. Please don't be fake news. The predictions, the doubts. We're getting so close. I've heard this before. And you know what? They weren't wrong. There were a lot of doubters, but EA is coming through. We get it. It's been a minute. It has been a minute. It's been over 10 years, but we are finally getting this game. I'm just so pumped up to see this trailer being released. They are confident that they're releasing it this summer with this trailer. And it's about time I just let more of this trailer play. Let's just say this ain't the only jersey we've been working on. They just snuck in like five jerseys at once. So I'm going to guess a lot of these clips just come from them filming for it. That's actually Nebraska's. And you can just tell by the details on this, the game is going to look so good. Like legitimately, this is probably in real life film, but I couldn't tell you if that's in the video game or from real life footage. And the same could be true for this. That is how good video games quality with graphics now are. They've also gotten Florida State in here. And this is just milliseconds to where they then go over to Florida. And then of course there's Georgia as well. We can see some detail on the helmet. You could probably read that warning sign and the American flag. And I wish I could see a little bit better because that shows the level of detail that they're going to go into. All right, what's next? The stadium. And the game this sport deserves. Looks like they're just making a logo here. Because pretty soon, this place will be full again. Until then, cue the crowd noise. Okay. So it looks like like the last 10 seconds of this video, not much I can steal from here. The breakdown, not much in this trailer. I mean, we get a logo here, which they already have on their banner on Twitter. And then he said, cue the noise. So maybe these final seconds are just going through some of the crowd noises we're going to hear. It's going to be crazy to see how they put this all tied into a game. I'm so pumped up. If you can't tell already from this reaction, the second I saw them release it, I was like, I gotta turn on the camera immediately. Get this reaction filmed. This place will be full again. And let's hear some of these noises. Until then, 
Kill the Crowd Noise. That's really happening. Oh, okay. I guess we're not getting a bunch of different crowd noises, but coming this summer, full reveal this May. That was the big news earlier on today. EA College Football 25 is the name, and they cap off the trailer by saying, tell your friends, wait, is this a release date? I really can't tell if it is or not. Obviously, the 1805 and all that doesn't mean much, but the 6 and the 7 could. But that would be too early. That would be June instead of July, so I don't think that that would be a release date. But if we get it a month earlier, that'd be crazy. I'm obviously very pumped up after reacting to that. I had to leave a little comment to them. Oh, we top comment on this post right now. And it was released 20 minutes ago, and it's already gotten almost a million views. This game is going to be massive. Now, I do want to go through a quick recap of everything we know about this new college football game just for you all that might not be as updated. So I'm hoping this article from Brian Clinton does a good job of that. And look at that. They've even given a shout out to College Football Revamped, which is what I do play on my channel. This was written yesterday before the trailer dropped. So all they really have is rumors, but most of these rumors have been talked about and are true by people at EA. They've kind of confirmed them. And there we go. Summer of 2024. That's the first thing we knew the game was going to come out this summer, but they still haven't locked in a release date, which is true. And it looks like there's a rumored release date of July 12th. I do remember that going live, but keep in mind somebody from EA on Twitter, Twitter did say that wasn't official, so I wouldn't expect it to be out on July 12th yet. Don't take off work or anything. I'm sure in May we'll get one that's set in stone, and it looks like every FBS program is supposed to be in the game, including the new ones like Sam Houston and Jacksonville State. So that's exciting because if you'll remember, when the game first launched, there were some schools that had the opt-in that decided they didn't want to be a part of it originally. It's also important to note that Matt Brown on Twitter has been one of the main people that has come up with a lot of the early leaks, and he has mentioned that FCS schools aren't supposed to be in the game at launch, but it could be in a post-game. DLC, and that's kind of what I've heard from other people as well. Now, the college football game should have actual players in it. They haven't officially confirmed it yet, but they've done as much as they can to do that. And just like this article says, it's pretty safe to assume your favorite players are likely to be represented in the game at launch. Now, another thing people love to say is it's going to be a Madden reskin, and it's not. It's going to be a completely different game that they're building from the ground up. And we all know that the Madden and college football games in the past have played much differently, so don't think it's going to be a reskin. It won't be. Now, for confirmed game modes, it looks like we got Dynasty mode, Road to Glory, Ultimate Team, and then the Exhibition Game Mode, which is just obvious. But they have hinted at a mascot mode. They've shown a lot of them in the previews. And these are just little blurbs telling you what Dynasty Mode is. But of course, we already know. Same with Road to Glory. We've played through so many of those in series on my main channel. So there's not much new information here. But if you didn't already know it, now you do. And of course, they're collecting assets from all across the country to try and create the most authentic experience. And you can't go wrong with some of the rivalry stuff. But one of the other main things I want to point out is ESPN's College Game Day will be a part of this new game. And that's not 100% official, but I'm pretty sure there's been some leaks that it's going to happen, so it should. Now, the transfer portal should be in the new game. It says it will here. I can't imagine it wouldn't be. EA hasn't specifically said that, but it's a big part of college football, so they have to include it. And then obviously the 12-team playoff is coming out this next year, so it's going to be in the game as well. And there's no definitive cover athlete for EA College Football 25 right now, but I think it's going to be Nick Saban. And this article says the same thing. The last thing to mention here is the game will be on PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X, but it's not going to be on past gen consoles so you're going to have to get a new one if you don't already have it and it should be cross-platform as well but that hasn't been confirmed anyway i just wanted to quickly turn on the camera and give my reaction to everything with the new college football game i hope you all are pumped up and these are exciting times to be in we waited 10 years for this but the game is coming soon